Hey, that nigga about to change my shit to dog. Hey, I appreciate oh, that. Man. Say that, man. Don't leave me alone, Mike. <laughs> For that shit. <laughs> Not Africa, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> South America. It's Guyana. So uh, my dad is from there. He got deported. So um, that happened when I was around like six. So as I got older, like, you know, it's something I struggled with. And I started my clothing line, which is actually Foreign Plug, and I moved it to my rap name. 
Foreign Plug Clothing really started to give it back to immigrants, like people whose parents been deported to help families out in need for situations like that. I oh, believe. yeah, that's, that's what's so I kept it, and um, people started calling me that in my city because they knew me from clothes. So when I started rapping, I kept it as Foreign Plug. And, yeah, Niggas with nothing right. just for sure. You was about to have a dope story, like a selling dope story. Nah, no, I mean, my dad is from the farm. My dad ride. is a but still a farm plug. Farm no, 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 no. I ain't saying you wouldn't think it was a dope boy name. A dope plug. I know like I mean, foreign cars. No, well, that's where it came from because but foreign plug. I mean, they're like foreign cars. I just all the sense. plugs are foreign. I mean, a plug could be anything. Like no, but my dad yeah. was the plug. That's where it really. That's how the name came about. My dad I mean, got deported for being the plug. See, oh, I was right. You be going to visit? I haven't been yet. I haven't seen my dad in like. So you don't be making trips? No. So you ain't really the plug plug. <laughs> 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 Not just we more, we more international, but they did stream my music over there, so they they, they support it. Daddy, like what daughters are rapping? Yeah, yeah, they rocking. I see the streams. I see it coming up. Diana, they they you. rocking with me for sure. Well, yeah. All right. So, how did you first get into like you own a whole label? You know what I'm saying. Uh -huh. So, how did you start that? Well, um, I don't honestly. It's hard to say how I even started this. I had an original team and stuff went left. And, oh shit. Um, I kind of went through some personal stuff where I took a step back from everything. And when I took a step back, I felt like my team felt like I abandoned them. So everybody kind of just left on their own and did their own thing. I'm still friends with them. We still, it ain't no bad blood. So I kind of just kept the ball rolling once I got myself back together and restarted my label. Once I started rapping, I wanted a team to, that I can build with, help, and be able to grow with. I ain't want to just do this by myself. Um, my cousin, NGB Scully. Uh, he started his label too, so we do everything together. Like everybody know, Foreign Plug and GB Scully together. So they always thought that we were. Had you been signed or worked with management prior to you starting your own? I do everything on my A lot own. of times people start at home because they had bad experiences with prior management and things like that. Um, so I what was, made you just want to just jump out there on your own saying, let me try this for um, myself? Not bad experiences, but coming here, you know, I'm from New York. I'm coming down here driving 12 hours to do shows and some shows I'm not even performing in due to promoters, stuff not being in order, stuff not being done correctly. So right. that's, I, that's where I kind of took it into, okay, let's start putting our own Because Zimmy like told me he had met you through a show that you had yes. put on, and he was on it. Yes, shout out. He was you. jumping. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He was. He was. <laughs> shout out to no, 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 no. Shout out to Cost because Cost Barstow is the reason. Cost my dude. Yeah, Cost nah. was. Um, I entered a contest when he was in the video contest. You know, to win the fifty dollars, whoever get the most likes yeah, and shares. Yeah, yeah. That's how I got introduced to Cost. I had never face to face met him. So when I first started putting the shows together, I hit him since you was already doing music. You already got a following. I hit him to host my shows. So then I met Zini and everybody else, yeah. and it kind of unfolded from there. That's what's up, calling real good people. I know him for a long time. that shit, man. Yeah, he came with both wings and they shut the show down. <laughs> First show, last right, show, so that's what he said. It was dope, bro. It was, it was lit. But anyway, from New York, why are you moved to North Carolina? Um, it's more opportunities here. Everybody be like, oh, you live in New York, but I'm from upstate Rochester at that. Uh, so y'all like no, 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 no. y'all like the bougie part of New York or something? No, that's we like bad. the hood part of New York. Black like country. Rutgers is there? No, that's in New Jersey. That's all the way downstate. Oh, that's like know. New York City. And all Miami I know is reading it, man. I'm from upstate. Upstate is close to like Buffalo is our neighbor city. I'm like maybe oh, okay. 40 minutes, 30 to 40 yeah, minutes from. Yeah, it's nothing in Buffalo. Yeah, it's right there. So, but yeah, you know, yeah, Benny the Butcher. Upstate, yeah, like, like, it's different up there because it's like nothing but violence, violence, gang, murders every oh, day. Like, it's, yeah. it's hood. It's bad. So we don't got it. Yeah, like we don't got it. That's a big gun. <laughs> yeah, like, we don't have we don't have the opportunity to be like how here it shows every other day. It's podcasts. Like how y'all invite me here is podcasts here, it's shows here, is you can get on the radio, networking is so much bigger here than in my city because it's so much beef and turmoil. You can't even rent nothing out. We don't have no clubs. We don't have no build. Everything's like shut so down. So since you've been here, it's just been nothing but love. You don't feel like niggas hating on you and shit like that? No, because I'm going to pop my shit wherever I go. 
I'm humble, but so, can't nobody I'm take away that. Carolina, can't nobody. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm can't just nobody take that. away that. My I, mean, I just met you. I feel like you nice as hell. Like I wouldn't yeah, even I think you nice. was a rapper. I don't think you like a salesman, sales, yeah, sales, yeah, yeah. something or something like that. I mean, four plug clothing. <laughs> That's where it comes from. Four plug clothing. You gotta have good customer service yeah. skills. So you always gotta have uh, people. You know, people skills. You gotta meet people and interact. So it's like coming here was a. Uh, it's it's good. Like I got a show this Friday at the um, Mansion Cabaret in Fayetteville on the twenty first. I got invited there. Uh, my single Top Dog featuring Uno Way is about to hit the radio here as well for 104.5. Like, it's just a lot of. Yeah, that's a fact. Uno Way is actually part of PMI. That's big facts. So that's why I say, like, coming here was just like a networking thing. Don is the reason why I even I already knew Don because I used to live here previously. Yeah, matter of fact, go ahead and introduce your artist, Don. Okay, so this is Don Dre the Don. Don Gorilla Don. Gorilla Don. Don. Yeah, Don. Gorilla Don. So Don is the reason why um, <laughs> I met Uno. Like, you gonna say something? You want me to just take over? That's for sure. Hmm? You want me to take over? You gonna say something? <laughs> Well, I'm chilling. All right, let's chill. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Don, uh, Don is the reason why I met Uno. We got locked in, um, being in the studio and rocking him and stuff. And we kind of just built a, a family, a friendship, a team around everybody that do music. So sure. everybody that I locked in with has been just genuine. I haven't really had, you know, I haven't had no issues. So we just created that. He's actually signed to Fox Records. He's from South Carolina. Uno is. <laughs> but we have a verbal agreement, so he basically helps me with my business. Yeah, verbal agreement. Yeah. Like, we don't... Mm. I don't do contracts. <laughs> I, I don't know. Let me tell you exactly. something. Because like, you got to think about people... Got paper on, on yeah, paper. sometimes you do got to put paper. I mean, it's paper on paper splits, music, stuff like that behind the scenes. Global. Like, yeah, it's when we go to music and dropping stuff, it's splits and stuff, whatever. Right. Right. For the right. label, right. each artist and everybody. Me, personally, I don't do contracts because I'm not here to lock nobody down with me or nothing like that or block nobody from getting signed or anything. We a team. We supposed to work together. So, yeah, there ain't no 50-50s. Yeah, it's not, no, it's not no 50-50. Like, how I, I split everybody's it's stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a loyalty like, and respect thing. So. If I go sign a million dollar deal right now, we finna do, we, me and PMI finna blow up. Well, what if we make a thousand dollars for a show? I mean, how will... How, I'm also, not, if, but you gonna break it down. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, for real. If, if, you know, if I my, know you gonna get paid. You know, they gonna give you the money, and then you got to break it down. Like, and that's a fact. If we put on a show, if it's a show that I put together, my whole team has to eat. Right. That's a fact. Everybody gotta eat. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's ways you, you, to make your team eat. You can start off with a whole meal and you break that thing down and we all eat snacks. I, I mean, mean, I ain't. <laughs> I mean, that's a fact. Everybody eating right now. That's, that's the truth. Nah, for real. I got. When you the boss, you got to deal with shit like that. Yeah, that's you the, the boss. You know how to do So when shit. I dropped that label tape, I made sure that I didn't drop it under foreign plug. I dropped it separately under plug me in. So the label money goes into the label account and that's used for all of us for videos, traveling, and stuff like that. And then everybody gets they split for their own separate songs. That's Still. what we plugged in. Yeah. So yep. Everybody's plugged in. I even have to take a percentage for me. Like, people would think, right. like, oh, right. you over the label, so you get the label money. No, I have everything going to separate accounts. I did that on purpose, so nobody felt like so um, I mean, I'm getting all the money. Um, I got, it's me, uh, Don Dre the Don, Uno Way, Hundo Meek, and Big City Jones. Big City Jones is the only one that stayed in New York, and then Hundo is currently incarcerated. Free me. Yeah, free Hundo me. We on a countdown. Period. That's my cousin, but we, we definitely on a countdown. And he just gave me music, so um, that he had. Before. You plugged him in. Yeah, for sure. That's that's my cousin. That's my blood. I got to. Like I plugged him in, and he plugged me in because I didn't know he had music before he went in. He he hit me and had stuff sent to me. Um, from the people who have his music out here, and we about to ready to drop our second label. He's in North Carolina, he's in New York too. North Carolina. Okay. Yes. That's what's up. That's what's up. Where you get this business acumen from? Like, did you go to school? Did you not? Yes, I have. Did you a, graduate high school? I graduated high school. I got a social degree in liberal arts, but my main studies was in business. And what? Hold up. Liberal arts. New York liberal. people. New York people. New York people. That's the people. Liberal arts to be low. <laughs> Yeah, it's just based like my. She was uh, at Rutgers Community College. <laughs> yeah, I was at MCC Monroe Community College. I got my associates. I started I off, know that. but I didn't start there. I started off at Morrisville 
uh, State University, which is in HBCU. No, that's not not <laughs> that Morrisville. Okay. This is Morrisville. It's, a, Morris it's, a SUNY, it's SUNY Morrisville. It's a SUNY school. I started there and transferred back, but I took mainly all business courses. So I've always been business oriented. Even in high school, I took business math. I took entrepreneurship. I took marketing. Um, I did a I program. In North Carolina. Yeah, I did a program called YEA. You, you just stay in high school. I'm oh, that's what it was. They they have all this shit. You know, man. I did a um, Young Entrepreneurs <laughs> Academy well, program. I used to stay at the school every Tuesday in 10th grade. So I started my first business. She was a nerd. That, that was I wasn't a oh, nerd. Was a it was just, yeah, she was trying to be the plug in high school. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, but, she just knew better. You know what's crazy? All these niggas smoking with I wasn't even the plug then. I was just jewels by CST. My first business, I was actually making jewelry. You I, making bracelets out of yarn? No, like real glass stuff. Like, uh, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Up there, up there. I like some little beads put on the bracelet. I was making like real oh, glass model, studded, yeah, like, like real nice pieces, like all types of stuff. So I was. Are you a jeweler too, or whatever? I what they call people that make jeweler? Jeweler. There you go. Yeah, Thank I you. used to be, for sure. So and then so I. So when, when you gonna drop this next album? Ooh. You dropping all these? I don't need no hooks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even got no dates. <laughs> So the next tape is the pink code. <coughs> I told you this is cool. it's the what? The pink code. I told you that one. Which is supposed to be like my more good. You can't just be a freestyle rapper, you know. No, no, no. An album. Oh no, I got songs. Oh, you acting like you can't make songs. Huh? I got, no, I'm not. I'm just asking. You know, I, I got. Want, I want to hear more of this. Um, for yeah, for I got show. 20, 20 songs coming for this next tape. Seven features as of right now. Come on, little baby. He dropped 23. Yeah, he dropped 23. <laughs> he did. But I've been working on this before Baby announced his stuff. Respectfully. Hey, <laughs> where, 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 Everybody <laughs> working silence till they put it on Front Street. But I've been, was, you know, working, working. How many features you going to have on this album? Seven. You don't think that's a lot? No. It's look, look, 20 look, songs, look. seven. That's just it. All the rest are all by myself. Are they all people from your label or you got people outside your label? Actually, I got you. no features from nobody on my team. Oh, she tired of splitting the money, right? No, no, no. No, nah, I'm playing, I'm playing. Yeah. I'm playing. <laughs> that's saying a lot, though. Nah. That's saying, that's saying that you don't need your team to hold you up. That you got, you know, you yeah. got Yeah, to. like, I'm not on Don tape, but Uno's on his tape. He just dropped his first tape called My Year. All right, let's get So how long have you been rapping? I've been rapping... About 2015, I probably started dropping music about three years now. So it's just that you so long to drop music before both of y'all. Like y'all, you rap forever too, <laughs> and then you say you started making music two years ago. So what made y'all actually start dropping music? Like, I mean, I guess they didn't know they were just that good in music. You know what I'm saying? I guess. Was you hearing other people music say I'm better than them? I mean, I'm not. I don't ever just say I'm better than some whatever. I try to I try to compete with whatever, okay. But if it's rocking, it's rocking, you know what I'm saying? I'm chiming in now. <laughs> he wasn't dropping music because he wasn't on his shit. And he needed plugs to come in and regulate stuff. I mean yeah. everybody needs a team behind them to push them. That's what it is. Like you gotta take initiative on your own, but you have to have a team. You can't do everything by yourself. Word. Word. Even so though, how serious are you taking rap right now? I mean, it's it's serious for sure. I mean, I got a lot of I got a lot of shit in the book right now I can drop. But like I said, I just dropped this album, so you know, it's it's pushing. Oh, you it's already got one out? Yeah, he just I dropped his first album. album. What's the name of it? It's my year. It's my how many tracks? It's uh what? what I think twelve. Twelve or eleven? Yeah, twelve. Yeah, eleven or twelve. It's twelve because it's exactly yeah. twelve for my year, and it's a song for every month. What um, platform right. you got it on? All streaming yeah, all platforms: things. Apple, Spotify. It's on YouTube, my year. Amazon. So what's the yep. So what's the of course his name my year but you want to get into the deeper message what what would you say to drive people to your album i mean i call it my year because you know i feel like it's my year you know what i'm saying especially when I well my background is you know you lose a lot you feel me with, with a great loss you a great come up so I just, I just i gotta call it my year man i feel it so you know what i'm saying i'm just talking to her she like yeah call, call it my year so you, you call it my saying? year at the end of the year <laughs> yeah yeah. yeah. I mean, a year, and I mean, a year is a year. Time don't really? stop. For real. 
So if he didn't say 2022, he didn't say 2023. It's a year. It's my year. Every year could be a year. I feel you. It's a 12-month period. It's a 12-month period. So how would you describe yourself as a rapper? Because mm-hmm. I ain't never heard none of your music. Like, not, no shots or whatever. I'm going to listen to but it after. Did, I'm versatile, But man. they did hear Paved the Way. So they did. Word, they yeah. heard the song we got together. That's I'm versatile, bro. I can do hip-hop, R&B. You know what I'm saying? You sang? Yeah. Yeah, he definitely. He definitely do got the R and B and rap together. A little like, bit. I, I, I guess you just say I, I know how to make an R and B song. You feel me? But I'm about to drop some. I'm about. I'm about to, we can talk about dropping. If he could dance, then you would have got your shit. Oh no! Nah. Oh, no! Nah. Oh, nah. I I'm gonna tell y'all. When he had his dreads, he did look like T Pain. I can't dance for real. Not I can't T-Pain. dance. I'm trying I can't to get either. to you and that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I leave all that dancing shit to the fit people, you know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't do all that maneuvering and dancing. <laughs> that Jimmy you is know crazy. <laughs> yeah, like no cap. Don is one of them people. He, um, I feel like he sleeps on himself a lot. I can say that. And I, I honestly can say like people, um, people too. They they sleep on him because he don't push himself enough. So. I'm here, so I, I I'm gonna make sure they gonna yeah, hear my they gonna hear yeah. So like, so what on. is it that you telling him that he can't tell himself? Mm. Oh child, everything. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know that? No, I mean, um, can't answer that shit like a grandma. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh child, you the butter bill? You the butter bill? Yeah. Um, I would say number one is streaming. So, uh. Shout out to Team Arliss. I have to shout them out. There's a radio station on Station Head. Station Head is an app that we use to stream our music on. It's for independent artists or anybody. You can play any music that's on streaming platforms, famous people or not. The room we be in is called Team Artists on Station Head, and they specifically only play independent artist music. So it'd be anywhere from 50 to 400 people in the room plus more. Um, and and yeah, you know, all so of those that. counts as streams. Yeah. Each person is a stream. So when they play your song for 30 to 35 seconds, if it's 400 people in there, that's 400 streams. They stream through Apple or Spotify. So when you create your account on your phone, you get to pick um, basically who you listen to. I mean, listen through. I got Apple and Spotify, but I really use my Apple. So they the streams what, come what in. What about from, Cricket? I got Cricket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can get Spotify. Okay, I'm chirp, chirp. You I like the way she answered me. It didn't laugh. It was yeah, you can get Spotify. <laughs> that shit don't laugh. It's is Android friendly, so you right. can still lock like in on Station Head <laughs> with no problem. <laughs> now, the good thing with Trav Room is he lets you stay overnight. So even if he go off air, he sets an overnight playlist and everybody stays in the room, even if you sleep. So every sound that oh, that's a streaming stream. And yeah. we stream and stream and stream. So I push them, my whole team. Even if they not in there, they mess. You they, get paid for streaming? Yes, I do. Everybody gets paid. Mm-hmm. So I'm in there pushing my music, his music, all my artists, plus my label, plus our label tape that we have as a team. I'm trying to be like the female P. Diddy out here. Take that, take that. Uh, everybody hated my first record label. Yeah, but I'm Shug Knight. Come breaking the oh, records. Oh my God. <laughs> they hated on me. I shut it down. Because everybody want to hate on my shit. I shut it down. But they didn't understand what I was saying. I wrote the endorsements to every goddamn thing. Part of him. I, what? <laughs> they didn't understand. I shut it down. My next label gonna be called Love. Not he did it already. All oh, right, that's I'm love. Spell it differently. I'm gonna spell it differently. It was for the L-U-V. Yeah. It's something. You know how many people gonna click on mine just because they think it's Pete Diddy's? That's how you get money too. Yeah, I seen him and that's also him. how you get sued. He yeah. said, "I seen him on TV." Fuck, <laughs> daddy's not gonna sue me. Ain't got enough money for him. I'm fucking with Mace. Um, yeah, he's gonna get his three mil from Mace before he come over here. Yeah. Right, Mace said you better ask your mama for the receipt. <laughs> Yo, he did. Oh my god. He did not say that. <laughs> yes, he did. He said your mama got the receipt. Uh, he didn't say ask your mama for the receipt. He said you can't ask your mama for the receipt. He said everything is in your mama name. He said you can't ask B because he did. You can't ask Craig Mack because he did. I mean, you ain't got to repeat it. Ask your mama. He is. <laughs> Black that people. Is He's not saying like that. Either way, all I can take away from that is this is why I do good business with people and try to stay in good standing because I don't like shady business at all. Right. I don't either. 
Fuck that jacket from Moses. So what's in the future for y'all, um, for both of y'all? In the future, um, we're about to get ready to drop our next label tape, which is Six Degrees of Separation. Mm -hmm. Um, shout out to Buster Brown because he helped me come up with the name. Buster Brown, out here working. we in his show, the whole PMI, everybody, me, Uno, Don, Big City is coming, my brother 500 Kells, um, Young Lion Jiggy, they coming from New York, we all performing in his show. He got a two-day event in New Bern at the fairgrounds on the 11th. No, the 10th, yes, the 10th and 11th. It's a two-day event now. <laughs> um, 40 artists on the first one. We expecting like 5,000 plus people, food vendors, everything. What's so, the date? December 10th and 11th. Yeah, but I'm going to have to rock out. It's just like, you got to think about it. If I was in New York at Rolling Loud and they booked me, I got to be out there to chinchilla uh -oh, on stage. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah word. That's like, you can't, season. like, you got to get in. You got to get it in. I don't want to perform, And I'm booked for this one, so... We got booked for this, yeah. so we, we gotta go get this. Yeah. 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 Since you get paid for this, you hear me? Let's go do this. Word. Buster, no cap. I will tell you, I'm gonna pull up a dude that's a far away and it's gonna be cold. Yeah. <laughs> that far away. But you know, if y'all book the broadcast yeah. podcast, we'll yeah. pull up yeah. that yeah. Yeah. I can holler. Uh, uh, everybody come the fuck out of the state. Say that. I'm going to have a pre podcast before the show. Like, yeah, because they got dope stores. The dopest interviews in America. Now you see why it's PMI. I plug people in. Thank you for that. Show. I'm just saying I can't do no jail time. I work a nine to five. Oh, I can't off in the morning to go to work. Man. <laughs> I ain't trying to find Y'all talking about you know you're supposed to say nothing. Hey. We ain't get plugged in like that. Y'all niggas act like that oh. for real. Oh, what come up? He said no. He said he ain't trying to go to jail getting plugged in. We ain't plugging in like that. Oh, plugged in making connections. Networking. Okay. Just, I just need people. you to be clear on that. So are you paying attention to the wood line and the hood line versus um Yes, I am. Are you, are you, are you pulling I, up I, October 27th, 22nd? Yes, I October definitely 22nd. told Cross, I am definitely Woodline to Hoodline versus BRE. Who is BRE? Being Real Entertainment. Yeah, Hoodline, um, Hoodline. Red know Room. Is. Oh, yeah? When is that? October 27th. Yeah. I definitely been tuned in. Um, I've been listening to Hooligan New Tracks. He, he got some, hey, some yeah. heat. He definitely got some heat. I've been tuned in. It's going to be great. So, I can't so they're having a battle? Ten songs. It's gonna be like a versus battle, like yeah. ten songs. How you doing online? It's gonna and be now, there on yeah, YouTube, Facebook, and why are we not hosting that? Instagram? Winner <laughs> against PMI. So what, who hosting? <laughs> Period. I don't know, buddy. That's Tell what we're doing. Nigga, why are we not <laughs> okay, but is that what, what we fuck? is that what we doing? I just we, found we, out I don't about know what we doing. <laughs> we, what we doing oh, is we we calling out the winner. We calling out the winner. The club versus PMI. Y'all calling out the winner. Who I win? Time up. Let's do the next Word. one. Keep it going. We keep it friendly. Can you say that again? We'll so, whoever about. wins, or even if Woodline and Hood, I would I would love to go um, label versus label. Everything is friendly. You know, I always like networking and meeting people. And we can work. We, we can do that. So, he just challenged she the winner. She said whoever wins, goddamn. Yeah, whoever wins. I want to. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Hey man, y'all heard it here the first on the broke ass podcast. And Cross, I'm gonna hit you up by hosting that damn goddamn event too. Hell, this boy over here doing this bullshit. Hey, Cross, you gotta hold that down. Hey, Cross, you gotta hold that down. Hey, Cross, Yo, we end the interview by giving shout outs. Are you guys gonna come back and get into topics? I don't know. But we end this shit by giving shout outs. I'm gonna give a shout out to PMI for coming through. Yo, this is a blessing. I appreciate y'all for coming through. Just let everybody y'all know when y'all in. And hey, we the dope with that interviews, you know, in America. Hey, for sure. We ain't talking about sure. Santa County just on this podcast. It's just in America. You feel me? Yeah, sure. Cause that's what sure. we coming for everybody. Just like you come for everybody, we come for everybody too. Ain't nobody right. touching us. Man, right. boy, you just tell us. Uh, shout out to you being aggressive. Yeah, because <laughs> the winner know, like, is crazy. Because I've been trying to put a versus battle together for a while with down. artists. So to be able to do label versus label is kind of more simpler than me having to go find people to be like, I need you with this person. Because I was pairing people up and they like, nah, I'm not going to go against them. Because they scared. Um, some people was friends. Some people just like, they like, no, I'm just like, 
then some people I felt like I ain't had nobody to match up with them. Like, for real. Like, I'm foreign plug. Y'all heard my music. Who would y'all put up against me? That's what I'm saying. Like, who, me? Yeah, respect you me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a real question. Like, if I y'all got said, somebody for you. If y'all say, like, yo, uh, we I don't partake in these talks. But I ain't gonna, I no, ain't no, I, I ain't popping on no shit. But I'm just right. saying. Y'all see how I rap? So, right. I just want somebody to be like, <laughs> yo. You can go against plug and yo such and such go against Don. Like I'm open to friendly competition because I'm not the person to be mean or rude. All right, so don't worry about it because the challenge has already been offered. We just got to get somebody to accept it. Because if they don't let me host this shit between them, I'm gonna host that one. Got <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? Word. Yeah. And if they don't show up, we gonna call them. We gonna. We gonna <laughs> sure. That's a fact. Man. I got this. What you got for us, Gorilla? Man, I just want to give a shout out to y'all, man, for having us on here for real. And shout out to all the fans we got, you know, PMI. I got something coming soon, man. Got a little R&B for the ladies coming too, bro. You know, shout out to Paul. RBA dead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> RBA dead. Yo. Oh, yeah. Big facts. We got videos on the way. Uh, oh, he got videos on the way. Word. For sure. I just want to shout out my whole team, PMI the label. Sure. Hundo meat, free hundo. That's free a fact. Hundo. Uh, I definitely just want to shout out everybody, Don, for pulling up with me. Um, Uno way, hundo, big city Jones, cause he in New York and he's separated from us, so he he there doing his thing. So I just uh, yeah, I just want to shout my whole team out, cause it's been a process. Um, just doing everything, you know, getting here. So look, just stay hungry, don't give up, and fuck with the haters. Say at the true. end of the day. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> then saying, don't worry about what they say about you. You just be happy they talking about you. They, you ain't got no haters that ain't popping there. For sure. For sure. But yeah, shout out to y'all niggas. I ain't never officially give my shout out though. Nice meeting you, bro. You know too, what I'm saying? You all iced out. Stuff, <laughs> stuff, stuff, stuff. I got on Kobe. Yo. It don't matter. Hey, so, so, Kobe the goat. Kobe the goat. <laughs> but uh, appreciate y'all for pulling up. And we hope y'all had a great time. Yes, I did. Sure. I enjoyed myself. Y'all sure. got anything else to promote before? Um, just Why Friday. Why you promoter? Mansion Cabaret, <laughs> Fayetteville, North Carolina. Catch me live at the Cabaret. Cutting up. I'm headlining. Is that a strip club? Yes, it is. Strip club. <laughs> so, Plug is the headliner. It's on Friday night? Yes, it is. Is it girl strippers or boy strippers? And some of this clubs on Friday night. <laughs> it's females, because I don't want to see no males. I'm not into that. I ain't saying I'm into, oh, like, damn. Boy, I like men. Don't say that. I like, say that. I like I men, <laughs> but I don't want to see that all in my face. ABQ, doing the whole thing. Yo! Hope y'all hope y'all hope me, boy. <laughs> Yo! Oh, it's going to be females, but I'm definitely in the building performing. I'm, this is uh, my... F- Second one headlining, but this is my first one headlining as the main. I will tell you, we can't go through. I can't go through the strip club. I mean, y'all can pop in to see plug perform and get up out of there. For so, but I understand. Why well, you get low when you say that part? Cause you trying <laughs> to get folks in trouble. Like <laughs> <laughs> we out. <laughs> Nice. You know it, plug. 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 Nah, I'm cool. I already know my The script anyway. I don't know. And then I got a I got an interview Friday as well with 104.5 the radio. Oh, you gonna do that after the show is over? Um, that's not that. Yeah, we just do one more. I gotta do that at that night. Um, they're gonna ask the more industry questions. And I sent my song Top Dog with me and Uno Way. I got that clinked up and sent it for the radio. Yes. That's what's up. Still after the interview, just like you just. <laughs> 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 <laughs>